If you play American style Mahjong and you have a set at home, a great way to practice both with the Charleston and the pick and discard phase of the game is to play solitaire. If you're new to American style Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's play solitaire. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. I'm going to take 14 random tiles for the dealer, and then I'll take 13 for each of the other players. All the players have their tiles now. Let's see what we can do for East. Wow, look at that, Pwn. Or Pwn is from Japanese style. That's a Pung. Pung of nine dots. That's what we're building around, the nine dots. And there's a four. Maybe we could play lucky 13, there's a three. The only problem here is we have no flowers. No flowers. I'm gonna turn this a little. There, maybe that's a little better. Okay, as an option, I'm thinking we could play maybe like numbers with north and south or like numbers with dragons. So let's discard those three first. So we're, we're probably gonna try to play Lucky 13 in mixed suits. Let's see what South has. Building around the nine bam, I'm thinking an odd hand. If we get an eight, we could even play something consecutive. So, Let's keep the odds and the consecutive. We can discard those, it's a little risky. I don't like to pass dragons if I don't have to. Let's see, five, seven, seven, nine. Okay, let's just discard those. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can do with West or player three, I guess you could say. The multiples, they don't fit one and four. There's nothing you can do with ones and fours. The only way we could use partial would be to play lucky 13. We would need a nine dot in here. We probably would end up having to give up this one bam. The other option would be to play something consecutive with six, seven, eight. We have way more six, seven, eight tiles than we do. We could even play six, seven, eight in mixed suits. Let's go ahead and pass those three. This way we could be in between Lucky 13 or 678 in mixed suits. That would be the third hand down under consecutive run. So let's see what North has. The multiples are just not really going together, are they? So I think if I had to pick a direction, I would go with Winds and Dragons. Let's hold the twos for joker bait. We can pass those three. All right, let's get ready for the Charleston. Here's my Charleston helper. For the first right, north is gonna pass to east. East will pass to south. South to west and west to north. 
and let's see what East has. So if we're playing lucky 13, we picked up a three. At this point, I'm seeing three, six, nine come in here. Obviously, we'd have to give up these fours. Look at the three, six, nine here. Let's switch to three, six, nine and discard the eight, one south. And we can still switch back to lucky 13 if it comes in. This could be joker bait. Let's see what South has. We're playing either odds or consecutive. We did get an odd and we got something consecutive. I think we should go ahead and give up on the, the uh, odd for the offsuit. We could still play one, three, five, seven, nine, but I think consecutive seven, eight, nine might be better. So let's go ahead and discard these three. Let's see what West has. No keepers. I'm going to keep the red though. We can pass those three. Although we do have seven, eight, nine. If we're playing consecutive, I would hold all the six, seven, eight, nine. Anytime I'm in mixed suits, I hold all the, the consecutive numbers in a range of four numbers. Let's give up the one bam. We could maybe even play a lucky 13 with six and seven. Let's keep the one bam and discard the red dragon. Let's try maybe for like numbers with fours or even consecutive with fours. Let's discard those. It's a little bit risky with the one seven, but let's just do it. Let's move it along. So we are trying for wins and dragons here. We can pass those just fine. We could even make it a little better by passing one of each suit. Okay, we're ready for the next pass. We're gonna pass across east and west and north and south. If we're switching to 369 or potentially lucky 13, we need a one crack here. We can pass those. Let's see what South got. Oopsies. Okay, I hope that was right. Got a little messed up. Okay, so now we have a seven, eight. Here's a nine, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we should switch them to six, seven, eight, nine consecutive run, six, seven, eight, nine. And you don't have to pick a hand until you run out of discards. Here we have a one bam. We could maybe play lucky 13. Oh, one bam. We could still maybe play one, three, five, seven, nine. Let's get rid of I don't want to pass a five, six. Let's get rid of the six bam. Okay, let's see what West has. No keepers, no keepers at all. We'll discard those. We got a two. Maybe we could play like numbers with dragons or a year hand. Let's discard those three. Oh my goodness, that would fit right into a lucky 13. Let's pass those three. So that was across. We're going to now do first left. So east passes to north, north to south, or I'm sorry, north to west, west to south, south to east. Ooh, 369. Nice. Three, six, nine. If we get flowers, we could even maybe play the mixed suit three, six, nine. That would be the third hand down on the right. Let's give up on the four at this point. And passing the dragons either way is going to be risky. Let's see what South has. A one. 
19357. There's a hand there with two suits. The second from the, let's see, third from the bottom under, under odds. Pung, or Kong of ones, Kong of nines with three, five, seven in a second suit. Let's discard those three. Let's see what West has. Oh, they got a four. They got a four. Let's focus on that and get rid of these. We could pass one of each suit. Let's make this a little better and get rid of the one. But that's going to leave us with like numbers. I think I would rather be set up with a good pass for the next pass and pass six, seven, eight. At least it's mixed suits. We picked up a north. Let's pass those three. That is really risky though. I think we could maybe make it a little better by passing that. I don't think I would pass that. That would be a uh, great tiles for the big year hand. So I think I would pass that. Okay, so that was first left. Now we're gonna go to across. Oh, I guess we're doing second left. Second left. So north passes to west, west to south, south to east, and east to north. So let's see what east has. We're looking for 369. Don't have to pick a hand till we run out of discards. We're just going to gather all the 369. Let's look at south. We're looking at odds. We've got an odd here. Maybe they could play the year, the pair hand. This would be the third from the bottom under singles and pairs. We'd have to throw away the one, but all we need in here really is a three bam and then pair up. So that was second left. We're stuck though. So I think what I would do is I would try for it. I would not pass like numbers. So I would sacrifice that one bam. We could still fall back on one, three, five, seven, nine hands with the ones being a pair or even recover the one bam either in an exposure or with a joker. See what West has. No keepers, but they did actually get the right dragon for like numbers with dragons. Let's pass those. So we have mixed suits with a dragon. Let's see what North has. No keepers there. Maybe we could hold the dragon. I try not to pass dragons if I don't have to. Let's pass those three. And that was second left. So now we're going to go across. So north and south will pass. And east and west. Oh, we got a nine. And they have three tiles to pass, although I would not pass two dragons together. I would pass one blind or pick a hand. I think if I had to pick a hand, I would pick, play three, six, three, six, nine. This would be the fourth hand down under three, six, nine, in which case we could break up this nine and pass three. Maybe we could do that. Let's see what South has. We picked up a seven, that's good. And we have tiles we can pass. Let's see what West has. They did get another four and we can pass three tiles safely. North, did not get any keepers. 
So that was second across. Now we are on last right. So north passes to east, east to south, south to west, west to north. Let's see what east has. They got a six. So let's just put them all in order and see how we ended up. That's not bad. Let's pass those for optional cross. Let's see what South has. They picked up a nine and a one. I think they're better off sticking with either one, three, five, seven, nine, the first hand under odds or the pair hand. They need a three bam though. Let's see what uh, West has. They got another four. So I'd say like numbers for them. And I think I would go ahead and pass that. It's a little risky because we have consecutive and we have odds, but I would risk it because they're pretty close. Let's see what North has. They picked up a South. Maybe they could play a Quint if they get some jokers. Let's pass those three. So now we are on optional cross. West and East will pass. Oops, West and East. And then North and South will pass. East picked up a six. And they have two discards. If I had to pick a hand for them, I would say if they can get a flower, they would be set for the third hand down under three, six, nine, three, six, six, nine, three. So we could probably discard that three, six, three, six, nine is another option. I'd say they have four discards and they're in between hands. If they can get a flower, I'd play three, six, nine mixed suit. If they can get a three bam, they I think they could play three six three six nine. And that would be the fourth hand down under three six nine. So that's not too bad. I think a successful Charleston is when you're left with four discards at the end of the Charleston. So I'd say that was a good Charleston for this player. Let's see what South has. Ooh, they got the one bam back. <laughs> and they have discards. So really they have three discards, which is also a good Charleston, but they have a big gap. They need a three bam pretty badly. Let's see what West has. They picked up a green dragon. They probably should go ahead and play like numbers with dragons. And these could be joker bait, but I'd say they're in between. They probably have four discards, whichever way they end up going. Let's see what North ended up with. We have discards. So they're in between. We're done with the Charleston now. So let's start with the pick and discard phase of the game. So I will discard an eight bam for East and we'll draw for South. A two crack is a good discard, but I think I wanna go ahead and get rid of the dragon. Let's get rid of those honors. Let's draw four west. Flower. They got a flower. Okay, so they're in between like numbers with six flowers and like numbers with dragons. Let's discard the eight crack and draw four north. Joker. They could play that quint. Let's discard a one dot. I think the quint that they would play would be the ones with the one with the winds. We'll see what happens. They're in between winds and dragons, maybe north and south with dragons, or the quint. So this probably would be good to keep. So let's draw for east. Oh, Joker. Okay, we need flowers or a three bam they're really in between but they're set even though they have a gap they're set with that three six six nine hand they could claim a three bam discard for a pung pung and then kong the nine and be ready let's throw the five crack and we can draw for south 
Oh, Joker. So now we could maybe switch to a 13579 hand. Let's get rid of the two crack. We still don't have to make a decision, not till we run out of the discards. So we're gonna draw for West. There's a flower. So let's discard the one BAM. One BAM is now discarded. I would say we should probably switch them to like numbers with six flowers. They're even set because they could pung the flower here, pung these, Kong, Kong, and this is Joker bait. So I discarded a one BAM. This player needs to make a choice. If they are going to play the one nine with three, five, seven in the middle, third from the bottom, they have two gaps. They don't have a three dot or a five dot. So I would not take that. I absolutely would not take that. I would let it go. If you have gaps like that, let it go. So let's draw four north. Red. Let's discard the nine bam. They still do not have to pick a hand. And so far we have eight discards, nine crack. All right, let's see here. We have no flowers. So I don't think the three, six, nine is going to be good. We could play three, six, nine, three, six, nine with nines, but we'd have to throw away a pung of sixes. Either way, we really don't need the six dot. So I think that's a good discard. Let's draw four south. Seven crack. That's good for that pair hand. Oh my goodness, if we could only get a three bam, this hand would be really nice. So let's discard the eight dot and draw four west. Seven crack, that is a discard. Seven crack, this is a pair hand, we don't need that. And drawing for north. Twos. We could play news with twos. There's a red dragon out. Although we could still maybe play north and south with dragons. Let's discard the east and draw for north. I mean, we're drawing for east. So we're going to discard the two dot and draw for south flower let's get rid of the one bam and draw four west let's discard the five dot and draw four north five dot that was just thrown and let's draw four east west that is a good discard and drawing four south three bam Oh, nice flower. Let's discard the flower. They're one away from a pair hand. Let's pung the flower and discard the four dot. They're sitting pretty here. Let's draw four north. Four dot, that's a discard. And draw four east, five dot. Drawing four south, eight crack. Drawing four west, three dot. Drawing four north, seven bam, discard. They're good to go with seven bam. Let's draw for east, two dot, discard. And now we're going to draw four south eight bam that would be a discard drawing for west one crack is a discard drawing for north three bam that is a discard so there's one three bam out okay we're gonna draw for oh wait because this hand is so close i'm gonna pung it So let's discard a nine crack. It's a little risky to pung like that with two jokers, but they're one away from being ready. Let's draw four south. 
four dot is a discard. Drawing for West. Green Dragon. Oh man, too bad. They're committed. Green Dragon. And we'll draw for North. Five Bam. That would be a good discard at this point for them. Let's draw for East. West. Discard. Drawing for South. Red Dragon. That is a good discard. So let's draw for West. Nine Crack. That's a discard. Drawing for North. Seven Dot. Discard. Drawing for East. North. Discard. And this player can't take it. They don't have enough. We'll draw for South. Joker. Shoot. Oh, darn it. Okay, they have to decide now what to do. Two Jokers. They're really just one away. How many five BAMs are out? There's one five BAM out. There's one three BAM out. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to discard the Joker. Joker. And we're going to draw four west. One crack. Drawing for north. North! Oh, nice. If they can get a green dragon, this hand would be in good shape. Let's discard the two dot and draw for east. Two crack. That's a discard. Even if this player were playing a quint, they couldn't take it. They don't have enough jokers. Let's draw for south. A joker! Oh my gosh. Okay, we got to discard it. We're committed. Let's draw for west. Nine dot. That's a discard. And we're going to Kong it. And discard the nine bam. This player's ready on a six crack. Let's draw for south. Six dot. That's a discard. Drawing for west. Nine crack. Discard. Drawing for north. White dragon. Let's get rid of the two bam. They could still maybe play a quint. Let's draw for e, uh, east. Eight bam. That's a discard. And we're going to draw for south. <gasps> Three bam! Oh my gosh, they're ready on a pair hand. Let's discard the dirt, the joker. So, ready on a five bam. Let's draw four west. One crack, that's a discard. Drawing four north. Six bam, discard. And we're going to draw for east. Four dot, that's a discard. Drawing four south. Oh, Six crack, that's a discard. Six crack, and that would be Mahjong for East. Pair, pair, pung, pung, kong. For South, they were ready on a pair hand with a five bam. This player was set. They just needed fours. And this player was in between north and south with dragons. They had a gap with a green dragon. And they needed more jokers for any quint. Plus one of their two cracks was out. Let me know what you think about solitaire for American style mahjong. If you have a set at home, I challenge you to get it out and give this a try. Come back and let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. And you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn a new strategy. Or maybe pick up on an inside of the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for American Style Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.